Steph Beckett here again for another Rants and Raves takeover, and we are doing a short series of Rants and Raves just about the different sessions that we have prepared um, or the DSC has prepared at the show. It's coming November 17th through 19th, and with me on this episode is Tom LeBlanc, Executive Director of NSCA. How's it going, Tom? It's going great. Thanks for having me, Steph. Of course. Thanks for joining me. So first of all, before I ask you about your session and everything, tell me a little bit about your experience with digital signage and your interest in attending DSE. Sure. Well, so digital signage for me, I've always been on the outside looking in. Um, you know, in my career, I started off covering this industry as a journalist and, you know, writing about the different product categories that integrators could pursue. and. Right. I think digital signage is obviously one of the more interesting ones in large part because it's so untapped. You know, so many integration companies don't do much in terms of developing uh, a digital signage business. So it's just really, you know, it's, it's, it was an interesting category to write about And Now that I'm at NSCA and one of the things we do is talk to integrators about how to grow their businesses. It's a, it's a great topic to discuss with uh, companies. For sure. That leads us right into your panel discussion. This is called Transforming Your Talent Pipeline. So tell me a little bit about what that means. Okay. So this could really be about digital signage or it could be about anything in the right. integration market because it's really about the talent challenge that you know the integration market seems to face. I keep referring to our industry as existing in a bubble, right? Yeah. So there's this bubble and, you know, you, Steph, and me, uh, and all the folks that we talk to every day for our work, we're aware of the great career opportunities that exist in the bubble. But outside of the bubble, nobody has any idea what the heck we're talking about. Nobody's, <laughs> nobody's thinking about integration as a career. Nobody's going to... Um, you know, a technical school and thinking, well, you know what I want to do is I want to work for an integrator. And the reason they don't is because unless they know about it through other parts of their life, it's just not on their radar. Yeah. And that's a huge recruiting problem, right? Because these young, talented, enthusiastic, diverse individuals that are coming out of schools and, you know, early in their careers, they're not candidates to work in the integration market because they don't know about it. So one of the things we're talking about at DSC with, um, I have a couple of great panelists. Um, we're gonna talk about strategies for expanding beyond that bubble and getting people excited about careers and something that is exciting, like, like digital signage. So would you say that it's more difficult to recruit people to work in integration and digital signage than like other areas AV and AV? Like, is it harder to recruit talent in that way? Or do you mean just integration in general? It's really hard to recruit young talent. I mean, integration in general. I think once you get somebody in the door and you can talk to them about how exciting and creative and rewarding a career can be in integration, I think um, you're 90% of the way there. And digital signage is a great thing to talk about, right? Because yeah. I mean, it's a great example of creativity and technology, you know, marrying each other in a really dynamic way. And it, I think it can get people really excited about a career. For sure that there's so many opportunities to be creative and artistic in the area of digital signage where there's, you know, not as many and, you know, straight up pro AV um, and like specking equipment for a conference room, whereas like that is important as well. Um, but what are a few of the ways that you're going to be talking about to recruit talent more successfully in your panel? Well, I want to mention my two panelists because they're going to bring a lot of ideas to the table as well. Uh, so Brian Mazaros, he's the CEO and founder of OpenEye Global, who, you know, a lot of folks who work in digital signage are very aware of Brian and his company. Um, and uh, Xavier Kelly, he is a 
he's a young individual who works for Conference Technologies, and he's been working with NSA a lot on our DEI Action Council. And I've gotten to know him really well. And he work he's focused on digital signage throughout his career. But him and I have also been talking a lot about talent development strategies. Yeah. So it's a perfect connection because, um, you know, he can talk about both. But, you know, some of the topics we'll talk about um, is DEI. And, you know, one of the ways I, I mentioned that bubble before, mm -hmm. one of the things about the bubble is it's not very diverse inside of it. No. And um, we, we're going to talk about strategies for, um, you know, rethinking uh, the platforms in which companies use to do their recruiting and to think about, you know, ways that, you know, by going outside of the bubble, they can organically, you know, create more diversity and bring in, you know, talented people that aren't aware of this industry. We're also going to talk about peripheral industries quite a bit. Um, we think one of the great ways that integrators and digital signage professionals can find great talent is by thinking about not necessarily the integration industry, but um, industries that touch it in different ways. So this could be like architecture, this could be customer service and other areas, this could be, you know, um, IT, this could be, um, uh, th this could be IT consulting, uh, this could be you know, people that work in retail, in technology-oriented markets, um, just getting a little bit better at recognizing talent and then thinking like, okay, well, if this person has what it takes to be successful in their field, I bet they're trainable. And I bet that they could be a great contributor in, in my organization. And right. just kind of thinking differently about recruiting in general. I think that thinking differently is definitely going to be the key. And, you know, the next generation of workers that we have who are just now, you know, graduating high school and entering trade schools and like looking for the next step in their career. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to this session. It's going to be November 17th, 2.30 to 3.30, obviously at DSE. Um, last question I have for you is how can people connect with you? So uh, I'd love for people to check out nsca.org and learn a little bit more about NSCA, but also just hit me up on LinkedIn. That's probably the easiest way. Um, I am on Twitter uh, at uh, LeBlanc Tom, so you can find me there. I'm not super active on Twitter, but if you hit me up, I will respond. Oh, sounds good to me. Well, Tom, thank you so much again for hopping on this episode with me. Um, and by the way, for anyone looking to register for DSE, you can go to digitalsignageexperience.com, use the code RAVEGIFT, and you will get free entry onto the show floor. And you can go and check out Tom's session. So thanks again for joining. Thanks, Steph. We really appreciate the time. Of course. See y'all next time. Rave Radio. With Ransom.